Hey beautiful dolls, what's going on? I have a new series here on my channel and it's an eight part series and as you well know it's a makeup 101 series for beginners. Lately I've been getting questions from family members, friends, and strangers on social media about how they can start wearing makeup. What are the things that they need you know to wear makeup and I love that people ask me these questions I love it I love it because it's something that I know about and I love explaining it or giving the information to other people so I remember I think it was last week and if it wasn't last week it was the week before my cousin had asked me um what are the basics hey Ray and um I had so much to tell her but let's be real here who in the heck wants to read all of that so I decided to do a video series I think that's just a little bit easier as well as you can just pick and choose the information that you want to retain so of course as you guys know the first episode is about skin type I feel that if you want to proceed on wearing makeup you definitely definitely need to know your skin type now there are five different skin types there are four main skin types and then you have another one where you can be um that particular skin type and then one of the other four so we're just going to break down each one explaining it and maybe you can figure out if you don't know your skin type because a lot of people believe they're one they're one but they're actually the other and I definitely had learned the hard way when I first started wearing makeup so let's get started okay so the first one we're going to talk about is dry skin now in order for you to figure out if you have dry skin I'm just going to tell you some things that fall under the category of dry skin now if you have very visible fine lines absolutely no visible pores like in this area right here your skin is very itchy irritated red dry patches or you have like a very dull or rough complexion then you definitely fall under the category of dry skin Basically what dry skin is, you don't produce any natural oils in your skin, okay? In order for you to have moisturized skin, you want to wear rich moisturizing creams. And then as far as you cleaning your skin, you want to use mild and gentle cleansers. You don't want anything rough because your skin already is rough, so it just make matters worse. Okay, so the next skin type is normal, and I believe normal is the most desired skin type out of all five. If you fall into the category of normal skin type, lucky you. I'm a jelly. But um, if you do fall into the category, you have very radiant skin, you have absolutely no visible pores, no visible fine lines, your skin is constantly radiant, basically you are the medium. You produce the correct amount of oil and you have the right amount of dryness to your skin. And when it comes to moisturizers and cleansers, the sky is the limit. Okay, so the next skin type is combination. Most people fall within this skin type. I think a lot of people who are actually combination feel that they're oily because they get oily in their T-zone. And if you don't know what your T-zone is, it is your forehead, your nose, your chin, and your cheeks. That pretty much tells you if you um have combination skin you don't get oily in this area you don't get oily in here and it's usually at the end of the day or in the middle of the day where you would see like the glare on your forehead or in your cheeks or in your nose 
Now, as far as moisturizers go or cleansers go, you want to use the same ones as oily skin. Usually when they talk about combination skin, they do talk about oily because you do produce too much oil within your T-zone area. So you want to use gentle exfoliants. You want to use... Um, lightweight moisturizers you don't want to use anything too heavy because then what happens is, is that it's just going to overly i shouldn't say that it's just going to clog your pores here and then you're just going to get pimples so make sure that it's lightweight moisturizers as far as cleansers you want to use something that's oil free and something that won't clog your pores Okay, so the next skin type is oily skin, and I know this one all too well because I have oily skin. So for you to determine if you have oily skin and not combination skin, the easiest thing is you get oily all over. It doesn't matter what part of your face, you are oily everywhere. Your skin is very coarse, it's not smooth. Another dead giveaway is acne prone. Like you, No matter what, you get acne if it's the time of the month or not the time of the month. You just get acne. Your pores are always visible. The only thing that's great about oily skin is you do not see any fine lines or any wrinkles on your skin. That's definitely a benefit for oily skin. Everything else is pretty much negative. Um, as far as cleansers and moisturizers, moisturizers you want to use lightweight, oil-free moisturizers as far as cleansers you definitely want to use like most other um moisturizers a gentle cleanser but then when it comes to our skin you definitely need to exfoliate and the reason being is because we overproduce um oil and what it does is that it clogs our pores and then it goes as far as we get acne Okay, so the last skin type is sensitive skin. You can fall within the category of sensitive skin, but then also you can fall within sensitive and dry, sensitive in combination, or sensitive oily. Sensitive skin is the most problematic skin. You definitely, with um, sensitive skin, you get dry, red, itchy patches, as well as your skin reacts to the climate the changes of the climate I should say when it comes to sensitive skin the best thing that you can use for your skin is natural products in no fragrance or I should say fragrance free products I know sometimes it's a little annoying to go out there and look for all natural products or to make your own products I looked online for sensitive skin what you guys can do for your skin and um, a product in the stores are ready for you guys that's great for your skin is Aveeno so if you do have sensitive skin definitely try out Aveeno if you don't want to look for the all naturals and organics and all those other type of products Okay, so that pretty much wraps up this video. Um, if you are still unsure of what your skin type is, I will leave a couple of links down below. They do have skin type tests online. And if you have any more questions for me about skin types, make sure you leave your comments down below. The next video in this series will be all about primers, eyes, and face. And as you can see on the side of me here and here, check out my latest video which was a review on a primer and then of course and then of course I have my natural hair channel video and the latest video on that channel was a Shea Moisture um, first impressions but I'll see you guys in the next video bye